what's going on with y'all? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cleveland. So in this video, we're going to talk about the importance of quarantining. So I know we hear about it all the time. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine your fish. Now, some people don't like to quarantine. Maybe you don't have a quarantine tank set up. Maybe you only got one aquarium. Maybe you don't believe in quarantining. Whatever the case may be, I just want to talk to you today about why you should quarantine, especially when we're talking about saltwater fish. So you could go buy a fish from the fish store. It looks perfectly healthy. Everything looks fine. And then in a couple of days, all of a sudden you might notice that, you know, its health starts declining a bit. So trust me, even though the fish look healthy in the pet store, quite possibly it might have something going on internally that you don't see, don't know about and won't catch and won't be exposed till a couple of days later, sometimes a week, sometimes a couple of weeks later. So, um, that's one of the reasons why you definitely want to quarantine your fish. And then you don't want to spread these type of diseases to the rest of your fish. Now, I have this Karen Angel that when I bought it at the pet store, it looked pristine. I mean, it was flawless. Nothing was wrong with it. But, uh, and it's been sitting here in this quarantine tank for the past few days, maybe about, maybe about a week now, a little bit under a week. And um, it developed a bit of a fin rot by itself so you know that's why you want to make sure you quarantine your fish so i'll let you take a look at them he's still doing good doing absolutely amazing eats swims look healthy acts healthy nothing's wrong with him aside from the fin rot now that might make you a little worried you might not know what to do with that now i've had fin rot with a bunch of different fish over the years matter of fact i bought an oscar just a few months ago and he had fin rot in the fish store i didn't mind Still bought him, brought him home, treated him. He's healthy now. I moved him over to two, two, and I moved him over to the 225, and that's the black and orange Oscar that I have in the 225. No fin rot, everything is fine. But again, he had some fungal infections, and you know he looked kind of bad. You know it was like a rescue. Even though I had to pay for him, he was like a rescue. Somebody donated him. He was in bad shape, and I rescued him, treated him, brought him back to health, and now he's over there thriving. So. Don't be alarmed if you buy a fish or you see a fish with fin rod or something like that, it, anything like that. If you really want that fish, still buy that fish, quarantine them, treat them, get them back to health, and then you could, you know, you'll have your fish that you actually want. So that's the reason why we quarantine fish. Now, if you don't have a tank set up, you got to be even more cautious when you buy these fish. And that's almost like a gamble. You know, it's, it's a constant roll of the dice every time you buy a new fish. I bought plenty of fish over the years and um, thinking they were absolutely healthy and put them, in my, put them in my aquarium, just destroyed the whole aquarium. Uh, so that's why we quarantine our fish. So let's take a look at this angel fish right here. I'm going to show you exactly how I treat them and uh, then we'll go from there. So these two tanks are my quarantine tanks. So I currently have my emperor angel right here that's in quarantine he's doing good right now don't look like he need any medication but you know he's under observation so even if you don't medicate your fish that's in quarantine it's just basic observation you watching the fish for the next few weeks and you making sure that he remains healthy eating good looking good and not displaying any characteristics of a sick fish and then we have the Koran Angel right here. We've had him a little bit longer. And as you can see, let's see if I can get this thing focused. Let me turn off the light. All right, maybe that'd be a little bit better. So as you can see, his tail has a little bit of, you know, it's kind of like chewed up a little bit. And then his tail was perfect when I bought him. And like I said, there's nobody else in here. So that's a sign of fin rot. And without being treated, it could continuously spread. And uh, it could be really bad for the fish. So what I use for fin rot, what I use on that Oscar who had very bad fin rot. I use this Melifix. Now, you make sure you get Melifix because it works for 
Finrod. Now I know a bunch of you are all saying that's terrible medication. It's a it's a general uh, basic medication. It don't really work or whatever. It works for me. Now you have to figure out what medication works for you. I I keep this in stock. It works for a number of different situations and diseases and things like that. It works for eye cloud, Popeye, body slime, mouth fungus, open wounds, open red sores, fin and tail rot. This is why I use it. Yeah, it's basically a general um, medication for a bunch of different things. Sometimes that's all that's needed. This is really natural. It will not harm your beneficial bacteria. A lot of the medication it will destroy and kill your beneficial bacteria because it's really nasty hard stuff. This is not. Now, if this don't work and you've used full, you know, you've used it the way it's supposed to be used, then maybe you might want to, you know, step it up and grab something different. But nine times out of ten, this will be enough for the fin rot and most of these other diseases that was mentioned on the back of this bottle. This being a 20 gallon aquarium, I only have to use 10, 10 ml. So that's just one cap full. So this thing is going to last a long time. And you're supposed to, let's read, let's read how it says for it to work. So it says, add 5 ml for every 10 gallons. Dose daily for 7 days. After seven days, you make a 25% water change. Continue treatment if necessary. Dose daily for three days. Okay, let's, re let's redo that. Let's read that again. So it says, add 5 ml for every 10 gallons of water. Dose daily for seven days. After seven days, make a 25% water change. Continue treatment if necessary. After adding new fish, you dose for three days. So that's just like a preventative measure. So you could use this as a medication. You could use this as um, a preventative measure. A bunch of different ways of using it. But when you quarantine your fish, you don't have to worry about, you know, if you're adding new fish, you dose for three days because you're quarantining your fish. So I recommend this Melifix, and it's not a sponsor video. Now, Let's go ahead and treat them together. Take off the cap. It has a little seal. Make sure it has this seal. If your medication don't come with this seal and you buy it at the store, don't buy it. I've bought medication that was like $20 and they've thrown different medications in the bottle and returned the bottle. So, you know, I bought this online from Amazon and definitely comes brand new. But when you buy it at the store, just be careful, y'all. So 10 ml, and I think this, it smells good. It's uh, extracted from tea trees. It smells really good. So just one cap full. It don't do nothing to the water. It don't do anything to the water at all. Don't discolor the water. Absolutely nothing. So I will definitely treat him. So I'm going to put one cap full. For the next seven days so he should be good by next sunday yep and if y'all don't believe it works just try it it definitely beats buying a medication that's going to destroy your beneficial bacteria kill all the beneficial bacteria and then you have an almost sterile tank and you're hoping that your fish survive. I mean, that just makes no sense, right? That's basically what you're doing when you buy medication that's going to just destroy your uh, your beneficial bacteria. So we'll add a little bit of, you know, bubbles to the top of the water. Don't be alarmed by that at all. Don't harm the fish whatsoever. If anything, the fin rot will harm your fish. So that's how I go about treating them. Simple enough, right? Very simple, very easy. Now, don't over-treat your fish. Make sure you use the correct amount of medication for the size aquarium that you have. Always do that.
always do that. So that's pretty much it. That's how I treat a fish that has fin rot. If this fish had ick, same scenario. Just treat the tank for ick. It's very simple when you have your fish inside of a quarantine tank. Long as your fish is acting healthy, eating, not doing any flashing, you don't see any sunken abdomen, you don't see any white dots on your fish, uh, you don't when it's when it's when it's defecating, you know, it's it's feces look normal, it's not stringy, it's not hanging. It's not clear. All of these different things are signs of diseases that comes with your fish or your fish could have. Whether it be external parasites, ick, flukes, um, 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 wasting disease, you know, all of these different things. Fin rot, source, all of that is things that's treatable if you get to it early enough. And the best way of doing this is inside of a quarantine tank. Now, if I had this guy in the in the home that he's going to go into from here, I'm going to use a ton more medication. I'm also going to be treating healthy fish that can create stress. And then all of a sudden your fish can become sick because you've been stressing it out by treating it when it didn't even need it. So just quarantine when you can. If you don't have a hospital tank, a quarantine tank, get one. They're cheap. You could literally get your all in one. 10 gallon 20 gallon tank for a hundred dollars or under and uh that will last you you know you could fresh water salt water don't matter that will last you that's what i recommend i don't recommend just getting a you know but or you if you don't have the funds for that you could get you a 20 gallon tank when you know petco have those sales for probably like 20 dollars get you a sponge filter there you go get a heater there you go you're good to go so um anyway I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you were inspired by something. I hope that I was able to inspire you to get a quarantine tank if you don't have any. And if you just don't care about quarantining, more power to you. I understand. Trust me, I understand. But, uh, you know, like I said, when you don't quarantine your fish, it's a roll of the dice. When I don't quarantine my fish, I know what I'm doing. I have, that's why I have, but I also have tanks in place where I do quarantine. I don't quarantine every fish. You know, experience will let you know when you should definitely quarantine and when, you know, you could possibly roll the dice and get lucky. You know, roll them and hit. You know what I mean? Anyway, happy Sunday, y'all. We got another video that we got to do. We got a 240-gallon aquarium that we got to clean, so let's get to that one. But anyway, if y'all like the video, like the video. Catch you next one. Peace. All right, y'all, so we almost at 20K. We almost at 20K. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the content, help us get to that 20K. Also, follow us over on TSC with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel behind the scenes. You get to see all the behind the scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.